Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change uh, the price from dollars to sen. So you know we are going to use a Stripe in this video series for payment. That's why Stripe will accept sen, and that is more convenient to have sen in your prices. So in this video, I will show you how you can display your price as a sen. So far, our prices are in dollars. So let's see how you can use view filter to display them in a sen. So I will come to my code here in the product. Let me just close it. So here we, we see the product name. I am going to say show the product price as well. And this is going to have the class of product price. So if I save it for now and we see our code here, it will display the price here. I want to display it in the right hand and the right side by. So what I can do is I can put both of them in a flex. We can say deflex or display flex in bootstrap also you can give it a class of justify content between and what it does is it is going to give us a equal space in between of these two elements which is inside the flex and if i refresh it oops you don't need to refresh it because it will pick it up so as you can see it is going to display the name of the product here as well as the price here now i want to show the dollar sign here the easiest way is to use view filters like you can do is like the easiest way would be like just put a dollar sign here that is not the right way also you want to display the cent on this one so this is going to be let's say 99 po 9900 uh, point something like point zero zero, and that should be the cent so what you can do is you can use view filter or you can create your own filter so i'm going to use the view 2 filter this is nice so all you have to do is install it and use it we don't have to use most of its feature if you are not using some of like just for currency you don't have to do this one you can create your own filter but in this video i will add it so i will come here and it should install in a few seconds it is done now now you can go to the good documentation and this is how you can use it so i will copy the code we will come to the main.js here and i will paste it all the way down there so you can write it anywhere firstly we import it and then we are going to tell the view that we are using the view to filter so you save it i will save the product as well and here is how you can apply it just beside the price use the filter character here and this is the, the pipe here the pipe is going to let you in VJS to write the filter so you might know this one and you can write the currency here if you save it for now and they have the those options in the documentation you can come and check out all of those stuff here you can see they have currency they have truncate they have capitalized uppercase and all of them are useful they have order by so if I come here this time you can see this is going to show the price in uh, uh, with a dollar sign as well as a cent value here so that's it for this video and in, in the next video i will work on the add to cart and we will focus on how you can implement vuex and more stuff so that's it thank you for watching see you in the next video